themikemagazine.com, bringing you only the best exclusives in entertainment news. Hey, Mike Magazine, this is your boy John Potts coming from Huntsville, Alabama. Just want to give a shout out to the magazine. Keep up the good work. John Potts. That's me. <laughs> Good, so good to be standing here before you uh, here in Mississippi. How often do you come to Mississippi? Uh, I try to get home at least twice a year. Uh -huh. But this was a sad occasion, but I did have to come home for a sad occasion this time. But I usually try to get home about twice a year. And I do apologize. I send out my condolences to your family on the loss of your brother. Uh, I understand that you have this historic book. Oh, yeah. Tell everybody about it who don't even know about it, who's not aware of it. Well, it is actually a pictorial documentary. Uh, if you remember the tornadoes that hit in 2011 in Alabama, it's such a historic event because it was the most tornadoes to hit in one state at one time. And, um, and that was 2011? 2011. Uh-huh. And uh, I went out and I covered six counties, traveled over a thousand some miles. And How long did it take you to do it? And I understand, it, you know, your book covers six counties, but you said it was more counties than that? Yes, it was actually more than 40 counties in, in the Alabama area okay. that the tornadoes actually affected. But I covered six personally myself over a seven-week period from the day it hit, which was April the 27th. Within a seven week span, I had sent the book to the publisher and it was ready. And man, and that is so amazing. I understand you even did your own layout for the book. Is that right? Yes, I actually designed the whole book from cover to cover, did all the writing except for the survivor stories, and all put together on the computer, Microsoft Word, and just sent it to the publishers. They formatted it, and it was ready in seven weeks. I, man, that is so amazing. I um, looked through your book and I noticed that there was this oak tree, mm -hmm. one of many. But talk a little bit about that one in particular. Um, and well, this was this was on a, a couple's property that, in the midst of taking the pictures, I stopped and asked them to take pictures. Uh -huh. And they say it was one of the oldest oak trees in Madison County, well over 200 years old. Oh, wow. But throughout my course of taking pictures, I've seen so many uprooted trees. Let me ask you, how long have you been taking pictures? Where did all this start? Actually, it started, if, if you get the book, uh -huh. you go to authorhouse.com uh -huh. and order the book. And, and once you read the author's page, I actually started taking pictures when I was 15 years old. Okay. Now and and that was a little over 32 years ago. And let me ask you, uh, do you want to send a shout out to any of your teachers from Gentry? Uh? Well, I would love to send a shout out. <laughs> uh, it may, by, may not be Miss Turner anymore, but it's, oh, it used okay. to be Miss Turner. Yeah, Hayes now. Now it's Miss Hayes. She uh -huh. worked with Bias and Hayes Funeral Home. But uh -huh. she's actually one of my teachers that taught me in school. One of my favorite teachers. <laughs> She bought my book and she was so happy for me. Very supportive of Very you, huh? Very supportive. Now, where can we find you? As far as social media, email? Social media, or, uh, uh -huh. you can find me on social media, on Facebook. Okay. Uh, under John Potts, or you can find, you can go to the book, uh, Facebook page, which is, a, which is a generational storm, and subtitled, The Tornadoes Hit Alabama, or you can find me on LinkedIn. Okay. John Potts. All right. So glad to be standing before you. Anything else that we need to know about you other than you have a beautiful wife? <laughs> oh, yeah, I have a beautiful wife. And you that you people that don't know him from a large family. Okay. I'm the tenth child of 19 children. Okay. I'm dead in the middle. She had nine children before me. So did you have after. middle child syndrome? No. <laughs> There's too many of us to have middle child syndrome. But I'm dead in the middle. And uh, being a tenth child, I always tell them I get the best of both from both sides of the family. I always tell them I'm the best looking one. Just joking. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> I come from a large family. That's a blessing. It is a blessing to grow up in a large family, no matter what they tell you. <laughs> now, I understand that you have POTS photography. You do weddings, senior portraits, birthday parties, family reunions, and other events. Yes. Um, um, mostly so in the Huntsville, Alabama area, which is where I'm living at for the past 22 years. That's where I've been living. Okay. But 
as far as people who want weddings done in the, in the Mississippi you area, will travel. I will travel. Okay. You can always uh, email me at potsphotography777 at gmail.com. You can uh, message me on Facebook uh, under my name, John A. Potts, or you can message the book site. A generation of storm. Just several ways you can contact me. All right, and thank you so much for this interview. It was a pleasure talking with you, and you have a great evening. Thank you, Angie. Uh, before I let you go, can you sing? No, I cannot sing. Not even ABCs no, or. No, I don't do the singing. I can sing a little bit, but not today. <laughs> you have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Angela Simpson here, the voice behind the mic.